Hey guys, today we are doing something a bit different than the usual. Um, so I'm actually doing a renovation today instead of the usual regular speed build. This is one of the starter plots in Strangerville, which just came out last week. Um, and I believe it's called Slip 42. You can see in the upper left hand uh, corner there. Um, so I just decided that I felt like doing something different, guys. Like, I was like, oh, I could just, like, bulldoze this, go ham, make something new, as I usually want to do. But today I decided that, no, I'm going to do something different. Um, and it was actually a lot of fun. Like, it's really nice to, like, start and with a shell already ready to go and then just give it your own, you know, your own flair, your own vibe, which was, uh, it was a lot of fun. So I actually did do this on stream, which was really great. Um, I've been streaming a ton lately and I'm kind of addicted. Um, it's a lot of fun to actually just work on something while being able to hang out with people, chat, um, share ideas, just like in general, it's super fun. Um, so that's where I did this. If you want to see like the full, like in time version of this, does that make sense? You know what I mean? Not slow down, like live. Um, so the VOD for that is on my Twitch channel, you know, which is where I was doing this, but I am super happy with, um, the fact that I decided to do this as like a renovation instead of starting all over because I love the shape and the feel of like the RV and I just wanted to give it a little bit more love. I felt like it deserved a little something, something more, you know what I mean? Um, so I started basically with the exterior um, and I just took away it had like that crazy bright green like astroturf going on and I was like I don't I don't like that I don't feel that I wanted to just have like the natural desert sand uh, that Strangerville has and that I love um, you can see I was like playing around with the time of day sometimes I change what time of day it is to see what the color looks like um, in different lighting and so that's what I was doing there, which was kind of rando but whatever um, but anyways, it's, yeah, it's a lot of fun, um, playing with the outside of this, just cause, I mean, with the new, with Strangerville, the Desert Vibe, it's a lot of fun, and I wanted to give this outdoor space a lot more than it had initially, cause if you remember at the beginning, you could see that the fence was really, really small, and the fence was only, like, the width of the RV itself, so it was very tiny, very closed in for the fact that the plot of land itself is actually very large, and I wanted to utilize more of the plot instead of just keeping it constrained to that tiny little space, and I felt there was like so much more you could do with the exterior here, um, and I was just, you can see I was like, I was fussing around with the color of the fencing for a while. I love this fencing. It's new from Strangerville, so this is one of the new build items that came with the new pack. And I'm really obsessed with this fencing. I really like it because it is slightly wonky. Like it's not like straight even all across, but I really like that. I feel like it makes it a lot more like real, a lot more like homemade. I love it. I think it's great. Um, and I was just kind of playing around with putting like, oh, sorry, I just hit something. Classy me. Um, making this outdoor space really a lot more functional and usable since it is a small RV home. That'd be nice if the outside has you know enough space to use um so on the inside here i did do a bit of playing around with the shape of the interior because i just got back it was just like three straight like square-ish rectangle rooms in a row and i was like mm, nah so i ended up changing as you can see there i put in a wall so that's over in the upper right hand corner is where the bathroom is eventually going to be um and then i drew another wall there i just actually that's going to be the bedroom um, and in doing this build, you'll see at the beginning, um, I have a very different vibe for the look of the build than I do at the end of it. And the reason for that was when I started off doing this, I didn't really have any particular sim in mind for the build. I was just kind of going for it and seeing what happened. And then I realized that just kind of going for it wasn't really working with this build. I really needed to give myself some kind of cohesive story for the build to really come together. Um, so like here I'm like playing with like fancy like white wood and like different tiles and I was just doing things that I felt like weren't coming together right. And I feel like that often happens in a build is I usually start off with one thing in mind and by the end of the build it's something completely different. And there's nothing wrong with that. I feel like that's part of the joy of building is that you kind of go in a completely unexpected direction from where you started off and it can just be 
like really just one item or one sim or just one little tiny thing that changes your entire style and theme for a build and I love that I love seeing what happens I feel like every time I go into a build it's completely different than when I blah, 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 where I end up and that's I don't know that's the fun of it that's why I love building so much so you can see here I was trying so hard to get a wallpaper that I felt would go well with this flooring I was trying to figure out I don't even know you saw I like had like the trees in the background at the one point I don't know what I was thinking guys I really don't know um, and I am so glad I didn't go with any of these because I just don't know what I was thinking. And I honestly probably wasn't thinking much of anything. I was just like, I don't know, I'm just fussing around. I was chatting on stream, which is it's so nice and so like enjoyable to be like, because these are the parts of building that like can get really tedious and boring is trying to figure out the gosh darn wallpaper. Like, I don't know about any of you guys, but for me at least, figuring out the wallpaper and the flooring is the biggest struggle. Once I've got that down, I feel like the rest of the piece starts to come together, but that flooring and that wallpaper, guys, in the end. So that's one of the really fun things about the fact that I've like started streaming is I can just like hang out with people and goof around while I'm trying to figure out the wallpaper, um, which is really nice. Instead of me just sitting here alone yelling at my computer screen, I can sit here alone and yell at my computer screen, but there's people in chat to yell right back at me, which is beautiful. I love it. I need it because otherwise I just am doing this for several hours on end. I'd like to say that I didn't do this for as long as it looks like I did. Um, and I'm actually now thinking on it. I didn't necessarily need to leave this all in, <laughs> but you're welcome. Here you go. You come to my channel. This is the quality content that you get. Um, you see there, I was just turning on, um, bb.moveobjects. Because sometimes I forget to turn that on, um, and by sometimes, I mean almost all the time. There's so much, ugh, like listen, Moo is your friend if you like to build as much as I do. And don't forget about it, because sometimes I do and I get really frustrated and I'm like, why is nothing placing correctly? And then it takes me about 20, real 20 minutes to realize that the reason it's not placing correctly is because I'm a goofball and I didn't have move objects on. Um, so cheats are your friends, my dudes. Cheats are your friends. Not in school, but in The Sims, cheats are your friends. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, it's, it's a thing. I struggle to remember all the time. So this is my PSA to all of you out there. If you're a builder, turn Moo on. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you don't have to, obviously. Some people do not like using Moo at all, and I completely respect that. It's just, I really like using it because I'm really fussy with my placement, and I want to force things to go places that they really don't belong. Um, that's just, uh, that's just how I do. Uh, oh, actually, now that I am finished rambling, can we have a hot minute to talk about the lava lamps? Um, probably one of my all-time favorite additions that came with Strangerville is these lava lamps. And it's, uh, it's just so cool because you'll notice that suddenly the room, once I put in that lava lamp, took on this really awesome green glow. Like, it's truly, it feels like you truly have a lava lamp in there. And that's just so cool. Like what a nice little touch. They did not have to make it like glow in the room, but they did. And I'm like, it's a real lava lamp. I love this so much. Thank you, Sims Gurus. You you get us so much. <laughs> get teary eyed about a lava lamp. It's okay. I'm an adult. <laughs> I love it so much. Totally one of my favorite items um, in the whole build. And I'm gonna be using it in like everything from now on. No one can stop me. Oh, uh, and that's uh, definitely not a hidden armadillo that I just put under that bed, but it absolutely is. I was actually like on stream and I wanted to show somebody the armadillo, but then I was like, wait, hold up fam. What if I put a secret armadillo under the bed in every build from now on? So that's kind of a thing I wanna do. Um, so if you ever download one of my builds, there might be an armadillo under a bed. I don't know, can or cannot confirm. Don't ask me, but I really love the armadillo and I love putting it under the bed. Does any does anybody else do something weird like that, like hide something in your build? Because um, I love the armadillo and I'm absolutely putting it in every build from now on. Um, can recommend, 100%. Uh, and I guess I should talk a little bit about what's actually going on in that bedroom besides the fact that there's an armadillo under the bed and that there's a lava lamp. So I had mentioned earlier that like my biggest struggle with this build going into it was like, I had no idea what the heck I wanted the interior to look like. And I was struggling like all good heck to figure out what I wanted to look like, how it was gonna be. And so what I ended up going with was I decided that I really needed a sim for this property. 
And so I was trying to figure out, well, who, who lives in this RV? Who is the person that lives in this home and what would the home look like to fit that person? Um, so I ended up deciding on a conspiracy theorist who moves into town. Um, and if I remember correctly, I believe I named him Roger. What was his last name? Oh goodness. I made a whole sim and I don't remember his last name. Uh, oh, Warren. Ha 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 ha. His name was Roger Warren. He's amazing. I'm obsessed. Um, I ended up after this build, I went straight into cast and made the sim. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm such a nerd. I love it. Any whoozles. Um, yes, I made a Sam named Roger Warren. He is a conspiracy theorist. He moved into Strangerville to discover what's going on. Um, and so because of that, I decided that his RV, he lives in this RV. Um, so we came to Strangerville, not a lot of money, he just came with his laptop and his like devices for conspiracy theorizing, all of his like spooky stuff. Um, and I end up putting like lots of secret files and stuff in his room. I like hid some under the table. I had them on the floor, just really leaning into the fact that this is someone who's been doing a lot of research on what's been going on in Strangerville, probably a lot of like surfing on Reddit, all that kind of thing. And is now like fully prepared to come and prove his theories true. So he's come with, you know, little snow money in his pocket, but all of his science-y theorizing thingies, words, whatever. I'm not good at words. I've accepted that about myself. Um, but he's just brought all of his equipment with him ready to go. And he's not really concerned about the like hygienic nature of his home or the like style of it. Like he's really much more of a practical guy. He's not here for like interior design. He's here to solve mysteries um, and get some conspiracy answers. So, oh, armadillo, <laughs> I almost put another armadillo in there. Um, there he is, look at him, look at him, I love him. Uh, we should actually name the armadillo, what should we name him? I don't know, we'll think on it. I probably shouldn't think on it in my voiceover. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> not sorry, <laughs> any whoozles. Um, yes, so he's a conspiracy theorist, doesn't really care about the vibe of the RV, so it's kind of dingy. Um, which I love. I love the feel of this whole space and even like the kitchen. It's a teeny tiny little kitchen because it is an RV, so small space. Got to utilize what you got. Um, and everything in it is kind of like either came with the property or he brought with him, but it's like used. Maybe he got it as like a garage sale. Um, he's really saving all of his money for, um, you know, equipment so that he can do research while he's in Strangerville because you can't waste that on a nice oven. He might like the whole place on fire. We don't know yet. We have yet to see. Cannot confirm whether Roger will blow the whole place up or not. But you know, he has a fire alarm and that's all that matters, frankly. So I, yeah, I think it's cute. I liked it. I think it really fits with Roger's aesthetic, which is a complete lack of any aesthetic. Um, and I don't know why I left the screen on this particular spot for so long. But once again, you're not really coming here for quality of content. You're coming here to experience, I don't know what, but thank you for being here anyways. Uh, well, it looks like I started moving, oh my gosh, I'm so bad sometimes. Sometimes I swear I'm really, really good at editing and sometimes I swear I'm really, really bad at it. Like here, again, I just kind of left it. It's whatever, I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. None of you should trust me with a computer and that's, that's the end all be all of that statement. Um, unlike Roger, I am not good with computers. There's a reason I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I love conspiracy theories, but I'm not about to move to Strangerville for it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm judging myself so hard right now, but you know what? Whatever. I really like this kitchen, and now you all get to look at it for a very extended period of time. You're welcome. Okay, finally looks like we're moving on. Hooray past me. So I did like a little dining area over in the corner here. So the thing is, obviously it's an RV. We don't really have space for like a full dining table or anything like that. So I just went with like a little breakfast space that I imagine would be used kind of breakfast and dinner. Roger probably doesn't have full sit down meals. He's probably more of a microwave meal kind of guy. Um, and he also has the table outside if he wants to have friends over or anything. Um, but for the most part, he's just kind of got a little breakfast table situation going. He probably really, at the end of the day, eats at his computer. He probably doesn't really utilize this space a lot for 
eating meals. Um, but you know, in case he feels like mixing up a little bit, we did give him a little bit of a nice space over there. Um, and then we've got over here, I was like playing with the placement of the windows. That's kind of something I always struggle with. I'm like, I'm very fussy when it comes to windows. I can never decide. And I end up playing with the windows for far longer than I should admit, just trying to get it to be like perfection, you know? Um, but I think this is a cute little space. I think it's nice. It's definitely, you know, it, it's, it's a tight squeeze, but you know, if Roger wants to sit and have a nice meal and then he can sit and have a nice meal here, he probably never will, but we have to give him the options, right guys? Like we have to give him the benefit of the doubt that every once in a while, poor guy is going to want to sit outside of his room, um, in the natural sunlight and not in his lava lamp lit room and have a nice meal. But I'm really, I just, I really had so much fun with this build and with this space. It just was something so completely different than what I normally do. Um, just like playing with the constraints of a tiny area and I love it. I want to do more like RVs and spaces like this because the build came out so different than anything I've done before. Like, um, hello gnome. What was I thinking? We may never know. Um, but like, look, like you've got like a tiny little space for like a TV room. So instead of like a full living room, it's just like a little space squeezed in. Um, just nothing fancy, nothing like special, like a nice little, uh, lazy boy couch. Um, just nice squeezed in. It's fun. It's very different. I never would have done this before. Um, especially with like all of the clutter, like he's got papers and like a mindset, just like things all over. Like this is just someone who's not worried about what their living space looks like. They are got business to attend to, you know, Roger's a busy man. He ain't got no time for decorating the interior of his house, but I still really like how it looks. Like I think for Roger, <laughs> this is a good space. Um, and I was playing around a little bit. I just wanted a little something, something on the wall. You know what I mean? Just a little something to like add to the whole look there. Cause it felt very plain. Um, even though I want the space to be plain, I still wanted something. So I ended up going with that like caution sign, which I think is really funny. He probably stole that from somewhere. Like I imagine he was going out late at night doing like a reconnaissance mission um, at like some science building. And then he just like straight up stole the warning sign. It's like, the man can't hold me down and took it with him. Um, so now he has a warning sign in his house. Cause you know, why not? Honestly, like if you stole it, you might as well hang it up and be proud of it. Um, and Roger absolutely is. But yeah, ooh, I love <laughs> that those those like secret files were a new addition in Strangerville 2, if I remember correctly. And I thought it was just so funny that I just like put them like his whole bedroom is just a mess. I love it. It's a beautiful, beautiful mess. Um, and the bathroom actually is probably like the cleanest portion of this whole build. Um, it's actually, I think, a pretty nice bathroom, all things considered. Just like a little laundry basket, just a few like little bits and pieces here and there. Um, but it's it, it's pretty clean. I'm impressed, honestly. I wouldn't expect Roger to keep a clean bathroom, but it looks like he does. And you know, good on Roger, because cleanliness is important, guys. It's important to take care of your hygiene, even if you're trying to solve alien science conspiracy theories guys remember that tell all of your conspiracy theorists to take care of themselves brush their teeth take a shower bathrooms are important anyways that is my um that is my speech for the day you're all welcome don't really know why i gave it um anyways on the outside here um i really liked how this space came out i ended up making it like a little bit kind of overgrown because you know i don't think i don't see roger as the kind of guy that's like out there with the mower like he's not taking like whatever he doesn't care and i think that i really like the scattered feel um that i ended up giving the front yard area here so i ended up like playing a lot with like it's overgrown you know like he's not out there with his weed cutter thingamabobbers he's not taking care of whatever but i think it's really pretty like i like excuse me I hiccuped there awkward I really like the overgrown nature of it I feel like it really just kind of added to the vibe I wanted for this um this RV because you know it's definitely you know a little bit outdoorsy a little bit cozy a little bit snug but also messy Raji's a messy messy guy like he's not taking care of the exterior um you know so we've got like some greenery, some plants, just some nice things. Um, and then I just like threw a bunch of like wildflowers everywhere. And I really liked 
I felt like that really brought the whole piece together was having a lot of just like overgrown flowers everywhere. Cause you know, this again, this is a Sim that's not really worried about his environment in terms of like keeping it all manicured. That's not what's important to him. So I just kind of let it be like nature's kind of taken a hold on the exterior, um, put in a little bit of like wildflowers on the ground. And you know, at the end of the day, I'm super happy with how it came out. I really liked it. Uh, I hope you guys did too. Um, and thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you wanna see me on a regular basis, I will be streaming on Twitch most weeknights and mornings in the weekends. See you guys later, bye.